The four questions that you need to ask in this debate is first, which side provides more benefit and less harm? Second, is war and a preemptive strike really a way out? Third, are the Westerners really that ideally good people that their side have claimed? And fourth, is Iran a bully or just a wimpy? Now, we do agree that some country, especially Iran, doesn't, isn't, is, is responsible, isn't responsible enough to have nuclear facility. But we agree that everyone has the right to own one. And they should be attacked at all costs because war isn't a way out. And just because they're a low state doesn't mean that they cannot improve, doesn't mean that, and what, and just because that they have claimed that they have nuclear facility, that they have nuclear weapons, doesn't mean that they have one. And on the first price point of justification, they say that Iran has claimed that they have nuclear weapons and they're going to strike. But the reason that we see that they claim that because they, they want to have a self-defense because they haven't had any nuclear weapon yet. They just don't want to be threatened or bullied by the U.S. all the time. Don't you agree, sir? Okay, anyway, if, so you are saying that for self-defense, well, but what do you, when, when they say, I'm going to strike Israel, I'm going to bomb, they are the self-defense. Just because be Israel keeps threatening Iran. We see the news all the time. We see the news of Iran threatening Israel, but we don't. The media didn't publish the news that Israel threatened Iran because the world is keep pressuring the Iran, and they keep putting the spotlight on Iran. So they would stop claiming that they would stop um, keep, keeping them out, keeping their wives out. So on on the second level, they said Iran doesn't deserve them, and. But we see that even if they don't, if even if Iran doesn't deserve it, it doesn't mean that they can just go and attack it because it doesn't fit the criteria and it isn't justified enough to attack them in the first place. Because the, my first speaker have said clearly that the criteria to start a war is that you must have clear evidence that Iran is really a threat, not just some news that they have said that they go to attack. Please sit down, sir. And my second speaker have said clearly about the organic exchanges. Iran has started to co cooperate, and they have welcomed IAEA to step in. And IAEA doesn't see any nuclear weapon in there. So we see that, uh, that Iran just has claimed us to have a self-defense. And why do we need to risk all this, um, all this embassy and diplomatic relations that we have built in the first place with Iran be, be, to and act as a tiny and destroy all the relations that we have had for, the, for two decades already? And this organ exchange is the best way and the, the most peaceful solution that our side stands on. And my first speaker have talked on the equality, not the equality by the economy or party, but the, in terms of rights, that everyone has the same rights, and that it's ensuring the state's ability to defend itself, and it should be absolute in that, in that country. And they say that the US is a good guy, and they deserve, deserve to own nuclear weapon. The fact that they keep turning Iran all the time, and every attack that the U.S. has made, they always have benefit behind it. Like the, the reason that they keep training Iran because they want the oil. They they want to destroy Iran nuclear weapon, and they have made IAEA to pass a law of of, of banning weapon because they want, want to be the one country that own it because they want to be the one who manipulate the world. They want to be the one who keep training the world that, that you cannot have it. Only I can have it. And. If they don't pass, and even if the Iranians don't pass the criteria and, and the inspection that the IAEA have made, but we see that the MAD is already there. The, the mutually assured destruction is already there to, to prevent the, the war from happening. But if we strike them, we, only, we would break that treaty, we would break all that relation, and that would give a reason for the world to strike back at the attacker. And on the second crash point is on the harm and benefit. Now, my, my first speaker has secretly on the economy of how it will affect the whole world, on the export and import and credibility of the interna international organization. Because we see that every country always trusts the internet, international organization. But if this organization, PNW, strike Iran, it would ruin the whole reputation of that organization, and the world wouldn't trust it anymore. And this would lead to a goal of panic. We can see that when the natural disaster hit Japan and caused the Fukushima power plant to explode, the world has already been exposed to many radiation by Japan. And we don't see that how can you control the radiation from spreading out if you 
a child in any nuclear facility. And even if they have truly failed, we still don't see any benefit, any further benefit that that's I have assumed that they will bring world peace to world peace to all nations. We don't see any benefit from act, attacking the nuclear facility, Chris Dasser, because we have told you of we have told you already that a proper investigation, a proper inspection, will lead, will lead to a proper regulation after after that happened. Because if we just if we don't if we just leave them there and if we just attack them, then they can start building a new one. And then we don't we don't know. We cannot inspect them anymore. They can just build a new a new nuclear weapon and attack. And that would lead to a proper regulation and many millions of people's lives could be lost from that. And we have told you the benefit of the yeah. nuclear energy on how it would provide the sustainable, sustainable energy and a knowledge for the whole world. And this will strengthen the cooperation and lead, and lead to mutual, mutual agreements, as my speaker has already said. And th that model will threaten the lives of millions of people and put the whole world at stake. And this won't make Iran a better democratic society. And this sort of relation between Iran and the international organization and country that we have had for a long time. Yes, sir? Anyway, so you are saying that you're going to wait for them to launch the new experiment to someone. So you, in order to for you so to, we're not to, gonna, to attack Sit them. down, sir. So we're not going to wait. We're not. We're just going to inspect it and help them develop. Because we see that, yes, if, if Iran has if Iran has nuclear weapon and they go to site, that's the point. That's the point that everyone should have nuclear weapon because it's it's a it's a reason that everyone have the rights to self defense and therefore if everyone has nuclear weapon, no one would attack against each other. Now we can see that everyone is afraid of the U.S. and China and Russia because they have nuclear weapon. And we, and we see that not any countries are there to attack them. And we see that if every country has implanted nuclear weapons in that country, no one will attack each other because it would destroy both that countries and this would, lead, would truly lead to a world peace that we are debating on today. And it's true that IAEA have banned nuclear weapons, but the U.S. still have over 512 tons warhead of nuclear and China has have thousands more hidden underground. So we see that IAEA are being bribed by, by the U.S. and by China. So we need, we see that the IAEA need to change the, the need to change the law and allow everyone to pack it, and they need to change it so equality of rights will be proposed to all the nations, and that Iran won't go to strike any country even if they have it, and a proper regulation could, could happen from from IAEA. And if the U.S. preemptively strike first. Then Russia, China, and North Korea will compromise together and have this reason to strike back. And this could lead to World War III and a mass destruction. And we have told you that our side model actually lead to a less harm than their side. And we bring you more benefit than their side. Because we have told you on how mutual agreement and a cooperation of and the public regulation of nuclear we actually bring a, a possible benefit than their side. Thank you very much.